Hello, beautiful people. It is Chef C from the C Spot, and we are cooking tonight, today, night, sometime. Uh, we are in an Asian mood today, so I'm going to do my take on a Kung Pao, and we're using ground chicken. So this should be easy, simple, quick, and it's adaptable. So whatever you don't like, don't use. Remember, this is your recipe. This is for your eating pleasure. So you can put in it what you like. So come cook with me. All right, so I've got a steaming hot pan going on here. Got a little oil spritzed into it. We've got our ground chicken. We're gonna get that nice and brown. We've got a foray of vegetables going on over here. Do you like the way I said that, foray? Foray. Got my heat at about a medium high. Because we want to get a good crisp brown on this. So for our veggies, we're going to do something different. So normally you see your Asian food when it's the bariatric friendly. You know, we're not using rice. Um, and we're not using pasta. We usually, um, I would, they would use a um, cauliflower rice or a broccoli rice. We're going to do something different. So we're going to do the Kung Pao. We're going to have zucchini in it, some mushroom, some green onions, garlic. I've got some chopped peanuts that I roasted myself. Yes, roasted myself. 350 degrees. Put, put the raw nuts in the, on, on a pan. 10 minutes max. Remember, if you smell them, they're already burnt. So no more than 10 minutes. And they're done. Then I just I just threw them in the, the blender and zit, 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 and then we're, we're good. All right, so I've got some red peppers and jalapeno peppers because we, you know, more hotter, more better. Our sauce and our thickener is... Um, it's some soy sauce, some cooking wine, and I use the Shawshank cooking wine. That's the Asian cooking wine. You can use Mirin if you don't have the Shawshank. If you can't find it, it's hard to find sometimes. Or you can use white wine. If you want to leave the wine out, leave it out. Um, cooking wine, soy sauce, some cornstarch, and some water. My spices, I have red chili powder, excuse me, red chili flakes, some garlic powder, um, some Chinese spice spice and some ginger. Got some juice going on in here. Those juice. So we're going to turn the heat up just a little bit because I want less juice and more cook, which means that my pan, while it was hot in the beginning, at some point cooled down because of the temperature of the meat. And that's why I have extra juice. That, and I'm using a really, really, really good um, nonstick pan. Thank you. Thank you, my sous chef. Boom. So normal Kung Pao is made with um, chicken breasts or chicken thighs that are cut up. I didn't have any in my freezer, but I wanted some Asian. So I said, huh, what do I do? What do I have? I had some ground chicken because at one time or another, I fancied that I was going to make myself some chicken nuggets. And yes, it's made with ground chicken. But I decided not to. Yeah, ain't anybody got time for that. So I'll come back to that another time. I just didn't feel like doing that. So since I had ground chicken, I thought, hmm, we want Asian. Well, I wonder if I can do that with ground chicken. And guess what? You can. So being the Google searcher that I am, I Google searched and found all these recipes. And I took the parts of each one of them that I liked. And that's what we're using. Plus, I have, I have a Kung Pao recipe that's really, really good and really, really easy. And really, really hot. For my Asian lover back there. Now, we can do the green beans. As your as as your as your uh, 
pasta slash rice replacement. When you go to reheat, if you decide you want to do the pasta, you can do the miracle noodle. I use the miracle noodle, which is the, the conge. I'm not pronouncing that right. My southern accent just won't let me do it. But you can use the miracle noodles, and um, that's a good alternative to, to the pasta. You can also use the banza spaghetti noodles. Because we all know that banza is uh, chickpea pasta. All right, we got some brownies going on. I still have a little bit of liquid going on in here, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And the reason why I'm going to leave it is because I'm going to cook up some vegetables and that will prevent me from having to add any more oil. So they'll steam a little bit and they'll cook a little bit. We'll be okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull out our um, chicken and pull them in a bowl. Yep, that's what she said she was going to do. Now you decide you want you want to heat up and cook good. Ay. I drew it for the fun. Well, what is the rule, my dear? Never use metal in a nonstick pan. And why is that, other than the fact that the chef might shoot you? So you won't scratch up the nonstick surface. Exactly. I have a whole drawer dedicated to either wooden spoons or um, some type of plastic, uh, some type of silicone plastic ware that's, that's suitable for my nonstick. And, you know, I tell everybody when they come to visit me, if they decide they want to cook in my kitchen, I catch you with anything metal in my pans, I'm going to hurt you. And you might get put out. Look, somebody jumped out the pool. That's okay. All right. Veggies are next. And we might spray just a little bit. And that's just regular canola oil. So I've got my green peppers. Excuse me, not my green peppers. I've got my jalapenos and yellow peppers. And that one, we've got our zucchini. That's one zucchini diced up. We've got some mushrooms. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You, mushrooms aren't normally in a compound. Well, they are in this one. This is my compound. We're going to have garlic two ways. I've got it chopped here. And we got garlic powder in our seasoning. We're going to get just a little bit of color. I'm going to turn that down to about a medium. I'm going to go ahead and add my green onions because I have a, I have a person who is allergic to onions. So I can have them cooked in something. I can't have them raw for him. Or we'll be in the emergency room and that's never a fun time. So we're going to cook up those green onions and I'm cooking it. And because I'm using the green onions, I didn't chop up any white onions. Yellow onions, sweet onions, Vidalia onions, whatever you want to call them. It's smelling good in here. All right, so we've got a little color going on. A little softness. And the key to this cooking really, really fast is cutting it really, really small. Everything will, everything the same size or the same relative size. And so help me, you chefs that are out there, if you're if you're judging the size of my my dice, don't don't at me with that. I went through so many uh, potatoes and carrots during culinary school, trying to get my dice size down, and you know what? 
I just make sure they're all the same size or, or close to the same size. We're not we're not being perfectionist here. That's not what we do. We're gonna add in our seasoning. I love the smell of Chinese fast spice. You're gonna ask me what's in Chinese fast spice, aren't you? Google it. All right, we're going to add back in our meat. And can you believe we're almost done? And you'll say, Karita, that doesn't look like compile. Well, I'm not done yet. I'm going to add just a little bit more jalapeno. Now, compound can kind of have, can sort of, can sometimes have um, their dried um, Asian peppers in it. If you have them on hand, more power to you. I always have jalapenos on hand. I'm going to go ahead and add in my, my green beans. These are fresh cut green beans um, that I nuked in the microwave. Yes, they're from a bag. I don't like the way that one looks. I don't like the way that one looks. We are loaded with veggies. Now, for those of you who may be vegetarian, leave out the ground chicken. And I think y'all don't do nuts either, so leave out the nuts. These are French style green beans. We've got our sauce mix. We're going to add it in. That sauce mix has um, cornstarch at the bottom. Cornstarch, as you know, can be a little funny. We've got our sauce. I think we need some more liquid. Because that thickened up really, really quick. So we're going to add just a little bit more water. Don't want to add water? Add some stock. You can add stock. I'm going to add some water. Because I got some thickness in the middle, but not on the sides. I'm also going to change the spoon that I'm using. To stir. Oh, we got good smells going on. Good smells. Good smells. My beans are going to be very crispy. We don't cook lint beans here. That's not what we do. I have crunch, 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 crunch. It will microwave for about three to four minutes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. People. Gonna add our nuts. I'm not adding all these. So don't even, don't even get funny. We're just gonna add a little bit. save the rest to go on top of some hmm some low carb ice cream some low carb brownies guess what hmm? we're ready to eat and just like that we're done we're done and we're ready to eat now this portion a lot of food. Um, Sue Chef and I will probably split that. Um, and that way we don't explode our bellies. But that's enough for two people that have had bad, bariatric surgery. So remember your portions. 
while I cooked a lot of that food and you saw that big, that big um, pan full, don't eat that whole pan. Not even throughout the day. That's not, that's not good. That's not the way we're, no, we're doing it here. We want variety. That way you don't get the conundrum and you don't mess up and you don't eat, overeat and all that kind of good stuff. So you're going to, uh, that can be used as um, meal planning as well. That whole pot there, you can get maybe like three meals out of that. Three days worth of meals um, for bariatric patients. If you're a non-bariatric patient, then you can probably get at least two, you know, at least two, breakfast and a lunch. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> lunch and a dinner. Um, dinner and a lunch. There we go. Put it in the right order. So it's quick. It's tasty. Um, gets you gets you that, that feeling sensation. When you cook food yourself, you'll be more filled. Um, you'll be, it'll, it'll be more filling for you to where you won't eat as much junk. And that's the goal. Um, health, uh, as healthy of food uh, options as possible that are filling to your belly. And that way you're not wanting to eat the junk food. We stay away from the cravings. That's our, that's our goal. So that was our Asian night tonight. And I thank you for coming to cook with me. It's been a pleasure as usual. If you want this recipe, please contact us at the cspotfood at gmail.com. You can also check us out at the cspotfood.com, T-H-E-C-S-P-O-T-F-O-O-D at gmail.com or the cspotfood.com, which is the website. You see all our old um, menu options that we did before um, that we'll probably put on video now. Um, contact me if you want the recipe, if you want any, any of the uh, hints and tips. Um, I'm happy to always talk to you. You can chat with me. We can do all kinds of good stuff. Um, it's always, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming to cook with me and remember to enjoy the journey.